Hey everyone, my name is Jaya from Gopi Henna and today I'm going to be showing you how I like to hold my henna cone. I'm going to teach you some tips and tricks so hopefully we can get you designing your very own henna designs. So you can kind of see here I'm already holding it in the way that I would when the henna cone is super full. So basically I like to keep my thumb about halfway or three quarters of the way down and then you can kind of see me grasping the more of the tip of the cone with my pointer finger and my middle finger. And so basically I'm squeezing pressure with my thumb and then I'm guiding a little bit with these fingers here. Now you also want to make sure that you're also stabilizing yourself either with your pinky on the working surface or using your non-dominant hand, just kind of lightly grasping your wrist or I like to sometimes grasp a little bit on the base of the thumb here. So this will help you not have such a shaky hand since I know that's what a lot of people complain about when they're first learning. In order to demonstrate what I'm talking about, I'm going to show you three different techniques which are kind of like building blocks for henna designs. The first one is called draping, where you basically start from point A to B without any breaks in the line, so it's a continuous pressure. So I will go ahead and demonstrate this for you. So you start with from one point, like I mentioned, and you're going to go to your second point, continuous pressure. So there's one draped line, and we'll go again, squeezing with the thumb, guiding with the fingers, and a little bit of the wrist as well. You don't want to forget to also stabilize, especially since your hand is a little bit in the air when you're draping. And that's pretty much it for draping straight lines. This can be a little hard in the beginning, but with practice, it'll become easier. When you're learning how to hold a henna cone, the next technique you're going to want to practice a lot are swirls. These are really pivotal in many henna designs, so you're definitely going to want to get them down. So again, I'm leading with my fingers, but I'm squeezing with my thumb. I like to start swirls with the outside and then swirling inwards. Some people start from the center and go outwards, but I like this. You can really get an idea how big of the swirl you want to get right away. And you can do a nice luscious dot. You can even do smaller swirls around it and you can even build on it doing the same motif. Swirls can be a little difficult at first so this is something again you'll just want to practice these over and over again. Just get a piece of paper out and do it multiple times until you really get it down, the pressure, and as well as the stabilization you need. And there you go. The last technique I want to show you are dots as well as leaves. These are really fun ones to add when you're just kind of trying to fill up a space in a henna design. They come in handy, but it can take a little getting used to creating them when you're learning how to hold a henna cone. So we'll start with some dots and a little kind of cluster of dots in empty space like this really gives a beautiful effect. And to build onto it, for example, you can do some little leaves. Now this is where learning how to release pressure is really important. So you're building up pressure slowly, slowly, and then you're slowly releasing. And I like to use my fingers to kind of do a little flick at the end. And that's what creates a really, really nice tapered look. And eventually you can do it a lot easier and a lot faster. But for the sake of this video, I'm doing it a little bit slower for you. And 
And I also like to do these groups of dots here. That's one of my favorites. And I'll also show you so, so you can kind of get a feel for how I use my fingers for more curved lines and vines. So I'm using my fingers like so. And squeezing, squeezing, and then releasing and flicking just like that. And that's how I create this motif that I use quite a lot in my work. So really, you can just play with it, get it, like I said, get a piece of paper out and just really have fun with it, experiment, don't worry about it being perfect, just really get to know your henna cone. And these trail of dots, learning how to do very thick ones to thin is just a really beautiful look. So that's going to take some time getting used to the pressure. Because now I'm using hardly any pressure, but still just a little bit. And then tapering it off. You can also do really, really thick lines, which are fun. And then you can go around them, create thin ones. And you can kind of see I'm using a really stringy paste, as you can see. So there's like a little bit coming up. Some henna paste, it's not quite as noticeable, but I just kind of go off the side a little bit and that creates a really beautiful dot. Now the final thing I want to discuss is what happens when your henna cone starts to become more empty. So basically I like to push the henna paste downwards and I personally like to flip this part over and then I cup it with my hand so again, I'm still squeezing pressure with my thumb, guiding with my fingers, either like this or like that. And then um, basically some people like to hold it. So they'll squeeze the paste all the way down and then they'll just hold it like normal. So as you can see, the pressure is full here and that is what you want as your henna cone basically becomes more emptied out. So again, you can either hold it like this or like me, I like to flip it and then I just use my fingers to guide it. So I'm gonna show you a swirl again. So it's the same idea, but you're just basically creating more pressure by folding the cone on top of itself. And here's another variation. You can do a swirl and you can build on it by adding dots. And then you can even add some leaves just to create a cool little design. You will definitely want to subscribe because next video we are going to show you three different designs that you can do as a beginner. So once you feel a little bit more comfortable with your henna cone, you can join us along and practice like that. just some few tips to help get you started. I know it takes a little bit of practice so don't get too hard on yourself. It's going to come with time and I can't wait to show you more. Do follow and subscribe because we're going to be coming out with so many more videos that will help build on top of what we just went over today. So thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.